Good morning, Red Arrow, and happy Monday. Today for lunch, we are having spaghetti, paschetti, or schetti, however you want to say it. We are enjoying an Italian meal today for lunch. And let's see what birthdays we and have. And we have one birthday to celebrate today. Happy birthday to Brayden Evans, who is one of our preschoolers. Have a great day, Brayden, and come on down to the office for your birthday pencil. Just a few announcements today. Um, first off, I want you to know it's a little hard to be serious as I look at myself because I can see myself back in the camera. Um, anybody wearing a bell, you know, it's kind of hard to be serious. Plus these ears. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, first off, food drive. You guys are rocking it big time. We've got like seven full boxes of food and more coming in. So thank you so much for your generosity. Keep bringing in those food items if mom and dad say it's okay. Um, and if not, that's okay, too. You've already helped out. Um, way to be. Thank you so much for that. And remember, I think our last day for that will be Wednesday. They'll pick it up probably Wednesday afternoon. Uh, looking at my notes here real quick. Teachers, the read aloud schedule. I'll have that uh, sign-up sheet posted this morning at some point in the copy room um, if you're interested in having me come to your classroom this week. And just a reminder to everybody, um, if you make a phone call home because of a sick kiddo or something else going on, would you please make sure that we know in the office, um, when you call out from a school phone, it's a generic phone number, and if we don't leave any voicemails, parents get very concerned and nervous and start calling every school building that they have kids in, and if we don't know anything about it up here, then we aren't sure who called or if anyone called or why. So help us out with that, please. Um, and also, if you could leave a message, it really does help parents out as well. Thanks for that kind reminder. Um, Mrs. Babb is asking teachers if you have a party schedule or a party note. If you could please get a copy of that to her up front. So if parents call in asking details or information, she can provide that for them. Tomorrow, we will have our music program practice. That's for first graders. The other grades are not taking part in the Christmas program. If you're wondering why, there's not enough room anywhere in Hartford to have all the parents, all the kids, all the family in one spot. There's just way too many. So, Mr. Zabella's has chosen first grade and then third grade from Woodside to be part of this year's program. And so that's tomorrow from 12 to 1.30. Um, I know in the past, Mr. Isabella said it's okay for people to come in along and, and watch if they want to. Uh, as far as I know, he'll be in today. So if you want to ask him directly, that'd probably be the best plan. And then tomorrow evening is our Christmas program, again, for first graders and third graders. And that's at 6 p.m. over at the auditorium. And I'm looking at my notes, and that's everything I've written down. Oh, uh, Mrs. Hall is out today, so just so everyone's aware. Computer lab is open, but Mrs. Hall is not there to help out. And from Mrs. Zimmerman, these students were chosen um, out of the caught being good box um, by, with the elf tickets. John John Covington, J.J. Brown, Sarah Diaz, Elliot Spangler, Weston Pitcher, Halo Smith, and Miguel Blas. If you heard your name, please go and find Mrs. Zimmerman when your teacher says it's okay and find out your job for this week. Those are all my things that I have written down, all my notes. So let's go ahead and check in with Mrs. Hall for Christmas Trivia. And now for Christmas Trivia with Audrey. What type of transportation is the Polar Express? The Polar Express is a train. Polar Express, excellent movie. If you were at movie night a couple of weeks ago, you saw that one, and I'm sure you remember that the, the uh, Polar Express was a train. Excellent job with that. And I got them out of order today, I just realized, so let's go ahead and do our Sparkle and Twinkle report. And here is today's Sparkle and Twinkle report. Looks like Twinkle found his way to the gym. His sign says, I had a healthy breakfast, and look how high I can climb. Love, Twinkle. And he went all the way to the top of the climbing wall with the mats on. So I'm not quite sure he must have, like, Spider-Man feet. Or else I wonder if he grabbed that Velcro strip and stuck his clothes to that and kind of rolled up. Could be either way. 
Either way, Twinkle climbed to the top of the wall. And here is Sparkle, posing with a friend. Eating a good, healthy breakfast starts the day off right. Love, Sparkle. Looks like Sparkle and Twinkle both found out the gym and the lunchroom are great places to be. Let's see what they had to say about our behaviors and things. Oh, they said that excellent behavior for the guest teacher. We had some guest teachers in the building on Friday, and those teachers said things were awesome here at Red Arrow, and I sure love hearing those, and evidently Sparkle and Twinkle heard about it too. Oh, this is a new one. Students were using iPads, and they didn't all have the same games. One person suggested they all share. How cool is that? Way to go to that person who thought that it was good to share iPads um, if they didn't all have the same game, so everyone had fun. That is outstanding. We want to do that with sharing. And gym classes last week with Mrs. Larson were super polite. Way to be. When we're polite and good listeners with Mrs. Larson, it means we have even more fun in gym class because she's not always saying shh or I'll wait, things like that, and still get to play the game she has. So awesome job. Keep it up, guys. Thanks, Sparkle and Twinkle. We appreciate those updates. We've got one more week left to enjoy them visiting our building. I'm sure they'll go home, home back to the North Pole once school is closed for vacation, but they might stick around to watch Mr. Jordan, Mr. Riley, and all of the helpers come in and clean the building while we're all gone. Let's go ahead, please, and stand for the pledge. And now from Ms. Harger and Ms. Weber's class to help us with the pledge, we have... Drake. Eduardo. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job, and everyone have a great day, learners.